Hi guys, Jordan from Brightwire UK here. This is just a short demonstration of the Evo Swivel that was released recently. Um, just a few things that you can expect when you receive it. You receive the main swivel itself here, the base plate, uh, which is optional if you want it to rotate or not, one main screw for the base plate, or two smaller screws, uh, which I'll show you about later. So, first, makes it kind of different. Most swivel systems come with something like this, just a ring on the end of what we call a clevis pin. Uh, problem with this, these usually have a lot of, fairly amount of weight to them. They're usually a lot bigger than the core wire itself. And you need force from the wire to, one, to move the ring so that it moves the clevis pin, which isn't as smooth as using something like this. This ring is completely embedded, so if this ring turns, the whole clevis pin will turn and there's no wiggle room. So it just means that your coils are going to be, you know, during the building process, they'll be a lot smoother. So another cool feature is this. Might be wondering what that's for. That is just to so that you can place it on a desk, uh, which I'll show you how to do in a minute. But we'll see, on this side, little hole here, oh, which base plate will go on, like so. And once that's screwed in, allows the swivel to move freely. And this bearing's there for this screw, you know, so it doesn't dig into anything, cause any more friction. This allows you just to move your drill and the wire during the building process or when you're setting up. It just makes things a lot easier. Because if you have a static swivel that can't move, if you move your drill, it's going to cause problems. And um, please excuse the a uh, little curve here. This is not, this is just a prototype, an old early one that I made. Um, don't worry, yours all come completely flat, straight. Um, another thing here, we have the bone, bone reds bearings, which are much better than the usual ABEC ones that come with swivels. You see it's slightly different on the back side. You have a large cleaver splint bl block here to ensure that it's gonna, you know, it's gonna last a very long time. Uh, these two Small little holes here. These are simply for the extra shoes to come in. If you if you do wish to um, have your swivel not rotate, so you can just put these into the desk, screw them in, and this thing's not going to move. Okay, so I'm now going to show you guys how to install your swivel when it comes. So just take the main thing here. We'll have the base plate, and this again, this is for fully rotating mode, how it was intended. This hole here on the back, the larger one. I'll just pop that in. Now take the bigger screw that was provided in the kit, put it through the top, just hold these together and screw these in because the base plate hole is a lot tighter than the actual swivel hole. This just this is just so the swivel can rotate and the base plate won't. So now these are in like that. Either drill a pre-made hole into your bench or if it's softer wood like this plywood here should be able to just force it in. I'll screw it onto the desk like that. Now, you don't want to screw it down too hard, otherwise it won't be able to rotate freely. So screw in until you feel a lot of friction and then back off, perhaps a corner turn. So now this can just rotate at will. Like so, and then you have, you are good to go. Again, excuse the bends here. This does not come on your on all the uh, released ones. This is just an early prototype of mine. Then you're pretty much fully set to go. Just attach your wire and crack on coil building like you normally would. Other way to use it. A lot of people don't actually like the function of having the swivel rotate. That's completely fine. Sometimes if you're going a lot slower, sometimes you really don't want to move your whole system. That's what these two holes here and here are for. I don't have any screws or holes, sorry, uh, in my bench at the moment for these to go in, but as you can imagine, just pop the screws in there. Don't You don't need the base plate for this. You can just screw it directly into the bench and it won't move. But guys, if you have any more questions, my email is info at brightwireuk.co.uk or simply head to my site and you can live chat me with me there. All right, guys. Cheers. Thank you.